Worst X-Men Movie Villains Dark Phoenix X-Men, The Dark Phoenix Saga is one of Marvel's best comics, and two adaptations of the story have already been made in the mutant cinematic universe, with X-Men 3, The Last Stand, and X-Men, Dark Phoenix. But the films failed to highlight the main points of the comics, leaving a weak and superficial plot in both productions. The arc focuses on Jean Grey and her transformation into a primordial cosmic entity that has powers over life and death called the Dark Phoenix. In X-Men 3, the character played by Fonka Jansen has little screen time for her development, in addition to the production trying to fit more than one comic book plot into the film. The same happens in X-Men Dark Phoenix with Sophie Turner, where they compress Jean's trajectory, leaving everything very confusing. Emma Frost Emma Frost has appeared twice in the X-Men movies. His best-known appearance is in X-Men First Class, where he became a central character played by January Jones. In X-Men Origins Wolverine, the mutant is played briefly by Tahina Tazi. While both versions showcased the character's ability to transform her body into pure diamond, neither came close to nailing the mesmerizing presence and personality of a powerful telepath. Emma Frost, who was even director of the Xavier Institute in the comics, is far from being a simple Marvel hero or villain. Fanatic One of the most classic characters in X-Men stories first appeared in the third film in the franchise, played by actor Vinnie Jones. In the feature, the villain basically performed as Magneto's muscles and only served as bad comic relief for the plot. However, in the comics, Juggernaut is very important to the team's canon, as he is Charles Xavier's foster half-brother and always puts the heroes through great physical and mental challenges. It is worth remembering that the mutant also appeared in Deadpool 2, but with a look made entirely by CGI. There, he also failed to gain much prominence, having his potential wasted once again.